As requested in this video, I'm going to show you the setup if you would like to connect your live sound card A2 to your uh, TV. And I'll show you also uh, this setup to be connected to a portable speaker or to a home uh, DVD uh, theater. Most likely this uh, setup is uh, for a karaoke uh, setup. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the cables, things I will be needing in this setup. Of course, this is the uh, Live Sound Card A2, and I will be using a BM800 condenser uh, microphone, so this one. And the cable that goes with that is this one, uh, XLR to 3.5 uh, jack. And I will be needing this uh, TRS, 3.5 millimeter jack on both ends. If you have the TRS, the one that has two lines, you can use that as well. And uh, this one, I will use this one later. So this is RCA to 3.5 millimeter uh, jack. And uh, this one is just optional. You don't need to have this one. Uh, this is a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, male uh, to uh, 3.5 millimeter jack uh, female. So that looks like that. Again, this is just optional. You don't need to have this one. I'll, I'll show you how to use this one later so that you can connect your microphone to here to this uh, sound card and you don't have to be so close to your speakers and uh, this one here this is the portable speaker that I will be uh, showing you uh, once that is connected and the cable that goes with this is uh, this one so uh, this is a TRS on both ends a 3.5 millimeter jack the one that has uh, two lines on it and also, as I mentioned, I will be connecting uh, this one here to a DVD home theater, so the one below here, and I'll show you also how to uh, use that. And now let's start to the connection. So as I mentioned earlier, I will be showing you how to connect the portable speaker over here. So in this speaker, there should be a 3.5 uh, output or something like that. So you simply connect to one end there. The other end, you can connect it uh, to this uh, sound card. You can connect it either headset or earphone. So maybe let's connect it to the one that says headset. And by the way, this BM800 condenser microphone does not require 48 volt phantom power. So you can connect it directly to here, to the one that says mic. Okay, so let's connect it there. And of course, the other end, let's connect it to here. Now, to connect uh, the TV to this uh, sound card, so we'll use this one. Again, as I mentioned, if you have the one that has two lines, uh, same as this one here, you can use that as well. One end, we will connect uh, to the sound card to the one that says aux in. Okay. And then the other end, we will connect to this uh, TV. And now from the TV, so just locate the one that has like that for a headphone or audio output. So this one here, that's where we will be connecting the other end. Okay, there you go. And now you're all set. If you just want to connect your live sound card A2 to your TV and with a portable speaker. Okay, and now we can turn on this sound card. Okay, there you go. For those of you who are not aware, this sound card is a rechargeable, so you don't need to connect this one to a power source all the time, not unless it's low battery. Now, for the volume of the karaoke song that is coming out from this TV, as you recall, we connected the TV to the aux in port of this uh, sound card. So that means the volume control of your background music is going to be from here. So the one that says aux. If this is at zero, there won't be no uh, background music audio will come out to your uh, speaker or whatever speaker you connected. And for the microphone volume, so it's just over here. And by the way, for the speaker also, even the aux volume here is on high. And if your monitor volume here is at zero, still there won't be no audio will come out to the speaker that you connected. So monitor has to be on high or it depends how high you wanted it to be. And if your microphone is close to that speaker, it might feedback. So you have to watch out how loud is your, is your audio. Okay, so let's give it a test. So for now, I will, uh, I will uh, maybe set the echo to a zero for the meantime. Soundtrack testing one, two. So there you go, so as you notice, I am increasing the volume here in the monitor. My uh, the mic volume right now is set to about uh, two o'clock, and the monitor is about uh, two o'clock to three o'clock as well. 
Okay, and as I mentioned earlier, if the monitor here is, uh, is at zero, then there won't be no audio will come out to your speaker. So the monitor here has to be uh, on high if you want uh, uh, there is audio to come out uh, from that speaker. And uh, so right now the, uh, the vocals uh, is still flat. That is because the echo here is still at zero. Maybe I'm going to lower my, uh, my volume for now. So again, uh, so right now what you are hearing is the audio coming out from that speaker over there. Preferably for singing purposes is K-Song, Fashion, or the Professional. Okay, let's give it a test. Let me add uh, some echo. Okay, sound check testing, one, two. One, two, three, four, sound check. So this, okay, let me press this one. Okay, this is a song, sound check. Testing, one, two, one, two, three, four. And if I'm going to uh, uh, select fashion, one, two, three, four. So again, this is another option for uh, singing uh, purposes. Okay, let me select professional, sound check. Testing, one, two. So this is uh, professional. Testing, one, two. Check, maybe I'm going to select fashion. Sound, testing, one, two. Okay, so let me uh, give you a short uh, sample. Okay, there you go. So that is now your background music playing. And as I mentioned, you can control the volume from here. If you want it lower, something like that. Or if you want it up, there you go. Okay, sound check, testing, one, two. One, two, three, four, seven. Now let me give you a short sound. Okay, and now let me show you how to use this cord over here. So as you notice, this cord is very long so that you can move your microphone away from that speaker and then you can increase the volume. So from the back, as you notice, this is the cord, the mic connected to this condenser microphone. So what we will do is from this cable that I showed you, you connect the other end to here. And then we will connect the other end, the TRS, the one that has two lines to the mic port of this sound card. And this time we can go far from this uh, speaker, especially to that speaker over there. And then we can increase uh, the volume from here. So right now I am about uh, 10 feet or more away from the speaker. And again, with the use of the cord that I uh, showed you earlier, and uh, at least if you're far away from your speaker, of course, you can increase the, the volume and then you can increase also the background music volume. So anyway, this is just an option and uh, you don't need to have this uh, type of uh, chord that I uh, showed you. So earlier I used the, the uh, fashion vocal mode and this time I am using the uh, K-Song vocal mode. And now let me show you the connections if uh, you are going to connect the audio to this uh, DVD home uh, theater which is uh, connected to the speaker and that speaker over there on the side. And for that I will be uh, using this uh, cord that I showed you earlier RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack. I will be connecting the RCA one the red and white to the aux in port of this uh, DVD uh, uh, player. Simply red to red and white to white okay and now so as you recall the headset uh, this uh, 
cord here is connected earlier to the uh, portable speaker and I'm going to be removing it now. And instead, this is the other end that I connected uh, to the DVD player, the RCA. And again, the other end is uh, looks like that, a 3.5 millimeter TRS. And same, you can connect this one to either headset or earphone. Let's connect it to the one that says earphone this time. And the rest should be the same. So again, this aux in is connected. So this cable aux in is connected to this uh, TV. And then the mic is over here. And still, I will be using this long cable that I showed you earlier so that I do not have to be close to this bigger speaker. And now what you are hearing is the, uh, the audio coming out uh, from that DVD home theater connected to those speakers beside them. And I am currently using a vocal mode, the K-Song vocal mode. And to control the volume this time, for the volume of your background music, you can still control the uh, aux in volume slider over there from that live uh, sound card A2. The volume control of your background music as well as your uh, voice or your uh, microphone volume, you can control them both from the uh, DVD uh, theater or the DVD player over there. So if you have a remote, you can of course increase the volume from there or lower it. Okay, let me play the uh, music so I can show you. So I'm going to play that uh, song right now, so same song. Okay, there you go. So if you want to lower the volume, then you can lower the volume from the uh, DVD player. So let me show you, I'm lowering it right now using the remote. Okay, there you go, and then I'm increasing the volume. There you go. Okay, and now let me give you another sample. <laughs> And also, aside from doing a karaoke party to wherever you are, you can also use the preset sound effects on here. Let's say, for example, I'm going to uh, tap this one, something like that, or this one. There you go. Or this one. There you go. So you can pretty much use the preset sound effects on here if you want to. And uh, also, uh, you can use the, the uh, the voice changer here if you want to use them as well and there you go that is all i can share for today i hope this video gives you an idea on the connections if you want to connect this live sound card a2 to your tv connected to a portable uh, speaker or to a dvd home theater uh, thanks again guys so for watching if you like this type of video please give it a like and if you want more of this type of videos consider subscribing if you haven't done yet and hit the notification bell so you're always updated for all the upcoming videos i will be uh, posting keep safe and until next time